ready? In three, two, one. Welcome back to the Dinghy Racing Channel. I'm here with Alistair from Sailmon and he's going to tell us today about the Sailmon Max. It's an all-in-one GPS unit with a built-in IMU sensor which means that we can not only get our speed, we can get our heading, we can get our pitch, we can get our heel. So all sorts of data that's really sort of helpful to help us understand how to make the boat go that little bit faster. That sounds brilliant. And what makes it different to other products that are out there at the moment already? Okay, so this has a really, really exciting GPS unit in it. It gives us accuracy to about sort of 40 centimetres, which is pretty good from a, um, an internal GPS unit. And I know you were speaking before about how you can take your data off. What kind of things would you think people would want to look at if they were looking at the data back at home? Okay, so the unit has, is a, has Bluetooth connectivity and also Wi-Fi. So what that means is you can connect it to the Salmon app on your telephone and it means you can um, not only view the data live on the water but you can also, when you get ashore, review your race uh, via the app on your phone and you can put, compare it with your friends. So I'll just run you through some of the features of the Salmon Max. Um, when you turn it on, just the middle button comes up with whatever you've set as your first page. So here we've got compass, speed over the ground and heel. And then to scroll through the pages, you just press the middle button. Page two, we've got compass, course over the ground, and these are fully customizable. So this is just what we've got set up on this unit here today. We can then change SOG, heel and pitch. And that's something that for dinghy sailing will be really useful. It's not something that's available on, on a lot of the products that are out there at the moment. So if you can manage to um, see as you're sailing upwind, for example, what your heel angle is, let's say in the teens here, um, and then you can also look at what your pitch is. So moving your body weight fore and aft, that can be a really useful tool, especially if you're doing a lot of training, tuning runs, um, you can learn from a lot of that data that you get here. Page four, maximum speed. If you're sailing a foiling boat, uh, it'd be really interesting to see your maximum speed for the day. You can kind of keep a tally of just your own personal maximum speed or compare to some of your friends. And also uh, your top 10 second average. Final page we've got here is something you can use if you've got a wind sensor, which also is made by Sailmon, a little bit extra cost. Uh, you can use that to uh, find out what the true wind direction, true wind angle and true wind speed is. Something that's more generally used on bigger keelboats or yachts, um, but now available to the dinghy market as well. And the other feature of this is the start feature. So if you press the uh, top left hand button as I'm looking at it, you can go to the pin end and you can ping the line. So there's also buttons on the sides here and you simply go to the port end, press ping, then move to the starboard end approach on kind of an upwind course. You can ping that end of the line and then you can change the start sequence which you can customize. So if we press, so this is the five minute, if I'm a little bit late on that, I can press sync and it'll go um, to the nearest minute. But what I can also do is as this is counting down, press minus one or plus one. So really easy, simple to use just there. But all you can see is it will give you a distance at start time. So imagine you're approaching the line in the final approach to the start. This is the distance to the line and it will see how you can see how you're approaching the line and how your distance to the line is going down as the time gets closer. So here I'm on the Sailmon app and I am able to watch a replay of myself going out um, approaching the start, start time. It will give me uh, what my current boat speed is at that time, your heading, time of day, and it will also put your heel angle and pitch uh, at all of those times. So you can see and you can pick out the data of um, your kind of average heel angle going upwind, downwind, um, and it will also identify when you've done any maneuvers. So it will work that out for you, and so it will spin through, and from this I can just watch a nice replay um, and if anyone else out sailing has got a Selma Max, they're using the same 
kind of um, units, you can compare your track with them. So you might be able to get some really useful strategical data from both of those units. What I can also do is download a CSV file, which will give us, if we see here, we've got uh, speed, heading, speed over the ground, course over the ground, heel, trim for and off, which is pitch, and we can download that as a file and if you really wanted to get into the data you can upload that to software such as KND or Sailnyord and there's so much more you can do with this data when you look at it but that is really really detailed level kind of Olympic level um, data analysis there so you can go literally straight from using it as a compass giving you a bit of help on the start line to looking in real real detail at where those next gains are coming from So that was just a quick overview of the Sailmon Max unit and if you're sailing something like a Moth or an International 14 where you're allowed to use GPS while you're racing this can be a great tool to help you get better and develop your skills while you're racing. For some of those other classes I don't think it'll be too long before we see GPS being allowed on all of those boats but in the meantime it can really provide you with some great data to make you really understand your boat a little bit better, help you get better closer to the start line and I think there can be some really great uses for this already. Thank you so much for watching the Dinghy Racing channel, see you next time.